video what is going on guys it is your boy Cesar here brings a video here today bring you guys a cool logo tutorial and basically in today's tutorial I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different I'm gonna be doing like a really quick very awesome video for you guys and I want to really start giving you guys I guess explorations in I I guess the appearance of a logo design I never really teach you guys how to do basically after you might have created the logo so I know definitely branding all those colors and the atmosphere the aroma you might give the logo of course very very much does count and sometimes it's hard to figure out what you can do afterwards and there's something you can do inside the illustrator that I always thought personally that you can do inside Photoshop which meaning those shadows that you guys probably see when people like have these continuous lines or continuous circles or really cool shadows I always really personally thought that that was done inside Photoshop for some reason even though that wouldn't make any sense because it's a vector um, not a vector so I'm gonna teach you guys today how to make a really cool simple shadow for your logo mark and I for this example I just have a really very quick little circle that I just use a pen tool and cut some things out and gave it a gradient to now originally I would probably say like this is where I would stop off in a logo tutorial but in this case I'm sure you guys how I can go ahead and give you guys a really cool appearance to it and with a uh, with shadows this time so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start off with using the pen tool first now with the pen tool we're gonna be basically using this to basically make a line to cut things out so for me I want a really cool I want to uh, I kind of follow this kind of really cool like wavy line thing um, but originally I want to make sure you guys start off on the outside of the logo and you want to finish as well on the outside of the logo to make a clear divide in the shape that you're gonna be cutting out so as in the shape is in the logo my circle is just it's literally just a shape right now so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just click and drag click and drag and just make a very simple little cut right I'm gonna turn off my fill and my strokes you guys just just see that it's just very simple just like this now if you guys can see if I'm gonna highlight everything right now you guys can see that it's a very simple uh, or not some very noticeable cut right so it's gonna be very easy for you guys if you guys have your Pathfinder tool open your table open excuse me I always have it open it's something that I will use on the on the daily um, I, I just I like to use a unite a lot which basically combines two shapes together but in this case right below it is called divide and once you can just click on that you'll see that it uh, divides it for you guys so there is another trick to it as well you can also highlight like I just saw before um, and then press shift M on your keyboard and brings up the shape builder tool if you guys know what this tool is right here um, basically you can see there's a plus button next to your mouse but if you hold alt uh, this basically is a minus button now you can just go ahead and click and it'll delete uh, a section of it but if you do hold nothing and just press the plus button you'll see that it also makes a cut and a divide for you guys however you're gonna have to take the little extended points here uh, that are basically like uh, I guess drafts of the old little path there you got to delete those two and then once you've done that you do have then a clean cut now the reason why I showed you guys two of those versions is because you might run into a problem that I had earlier and uh, yeah but basically I would just kind of just use divide as your first cut so divide just like so now I have this cut here so I'm gonna go ahead and now and press L on my keyboard it brings up the nice cool circle tool here um, and we're gonna simply just hold alt and shift click and make a very pretty much I'll say like half the size of this logo here really whatever size you really need it to be in this case this is pretty good for me I'm gonna go ahead and make this black because that's a color I want to use for now for the shadow just like so I'm gonna go ahead and go to effects I'm gonna go to blur Gaussian blur <laughs> and for me I have about 17 radius I'm gonna put the preview on really quick because right before I get like if I put it anything above like it would say 19 or so right uh, 19 looks pretty okay as well 21 23 you can start to see this little weird box happening this really cool uh or it's not really cool it's really messy a really awkward box that starts to happen because illustrators gaussian blur is just not as good as photoshop's um but you can see you don't want to have that whatsoever you want to make sure you get it right below so about for me maybe 20 but i saw 17 definitely did work for me so i'm going to say 17 and we'll just put it up one by one nope 17 is pretty much the the sweet number press okay right that gives me a very simple nice little blur um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight everything, press Ctrl Y to bring out an outline. Um, in this case, the only reason I'm doing this is because if you're doing multiple um, shadows that you might be doing, I will do a, another shadow in a second. However, I'm going to basically just use the outline to basically see where the cut is and where I want my shadow to somewhat be. And once you have that, you can just press Ctrl Y once again. So, once you put it where you want it to be, what you want to do is then select the shape that you want to have the actual shadow on be placed right so in this case if I select the shape here the shadow will only be right here where it is this right here will basically not be there but if you want it to be on this side of it you would basically want to uh, sh uh, select this shape here and that way the shadow is going to be on this side so just make sure you guys select the right um, shape right so I'm going to do the bottom shape for myself I'm just going to simply press Control c on my keyboard that'll make a copy of it right so once I've done that I can then select on my blur once again go to my transparency tab if you don't have this open you go to Windows transparency which is right here right and what you want to do is you want to select on this little mask here right and click on make mask so once you've done this 
um, it'll basically disappear on the mask and it'll be a, excuse me, it'll basically disappear in a sense and it won't create a mask until you actually select this little black box right here and then apply that shape that you guys copied before. So the way to do that is you want to paste it in, uh, paste it in front. So the correct uh, keybind or excuse me, I guess shortcut for it will be control F um, or otherwise you can go to edit and then yeah, paste in front just like so. And as you guys can see, there's a really, really cool shadow here now. So um, if you guys wanted to move it, you won't be able to move it like so. Even if you click over here, you won't be able to move it very easily. Um, we'd have to make sure you unlink it just like so right here. And then you can move it, unlink it, you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you need to possibly do. <laughs> and you can still change the color as well. So if you want to change the color, I'm going to change it to like a reddish tone maybe. That'll look pretty good. That does look pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna just, just I'm gonna do it one more uh, one more time, nice and quick for you guys to see how like very easy it is to do this. Turn this off for a second. I'm gonna go ahead because I this is what I showed you guys this before. If I use divide, this does go away because the mask is kind of lost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the shape builder tool this time and select this just like so. Delete this one. Delete this one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make my circle. Right. After my circle, I'm going to go to effects just to reapply this Gaussian blur since we know that setting is pretty good still. Find out where I want to have my second circle, I'll say right here. This is why I wanted to use the outlines because it'll get really messy and kind of confusing. So once I've done this, I'm going to go ahead, go back to transparency tab, go ahead and click make mask. We're going to go ahead and select, I already selected this layer, right? I believe so. I believe I copied it. If I didn't, uh, I hope so. Anyway, control F and I didn't. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure we do that. Let's go ahead and click on this shape right here, control C, then click here, transparency, make a uh, make a mask, click on here, control F, there we go. Now I can click over here, and I have these really cool two ripples now, this logo design, and it starts to give the, the logo just so much more character, so much more uniqueness to it, and this is what I mean by just kind of showing you guys some really cool techniques to use to make your logos just apparently, uh, appearance-wise look better, right? So, hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial here today. Um, I'm going to be doing so much more for, like, either the letter concepts, mascot logos, something, just to give you guys more to work with and more to really kind of make your portfolio stand out and look really, really good. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial here today. Don't forget to, of course, check me out on YouTube. If you haven't had a look under my... Wait, oh, that was weird. Um, Check me out. I meant to say subscribe to my YouTube channel, but whatever. Check me out as well. If you guys are... This is the first video you're watching, go look at all the other videos. Uh, I might find something you probably wanted me to do in the first place um don't forget to follow me on twitter at sysohq and uh, of course don't forget to check my cell phone sysohq.com slash sysohq for any pre-mades and packs of those five dollars and as always guys i'll talk to you guys later sysohq out my birthday's on thursday you probably won't be seeing a video until like maybe either next week i don't know i really don't know yet what i'm going to be doing maybe i'll have a video this week um but whatever it doesn't really matter i'm going to talk to you guys later sysohq out peace not to get to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys Later. Much love. Kisses.